Hello. I found my pen. Don't worry. The next thing that we're going to do is what are the actions of those, what, what is, what is the action of the ones that just carry motor fibers? What are they telling people to do? The first one is oculomotor. Oculomotor tells four eye muscles to do their thing. And we will learn, it's really cool, each eye has six eyeball muscles. And they're attached to the eye, and then they contract in varying, like, combinations, and they move your eye all around your socket. And there's only six of them in there. And we're going to learn all those eye muscles, and oculomotor innervates. It's responsible for innervating four of them. So think about if you cut oculomotor, you're going to have some wonky eye action going on. Trochlear, all motor, does one eye muscle. And you're going to learn the eye muscle and what it does. And abducens, one eye muscle. Did we take care of all of our eye muscles? Yeah. So those three cranial nerves are all sending motor orders to your eyeball muscles so that you can look around. Start looking. Now say thank you to those three cranial nerves. Accessory does motor to neck muscles. When I took anatomy, one of my students, who was also taking anatomy with me and who beat me on every single exam and quiz, she was a bright young lady. She remembered accessory because accessories are like necklaces. And so the accessory nerve does muscles around your neck where your necklaces go, your accessories go. I thought that was good. It helped me remember it. Hypoglossal does motor to your tongue. I am speaking to you because of my hypoglossal nerve. Would you like my hypoglossal nerve to malfunction? Let's say no to that. Mandibular. You know, mandibular is actually both, but since we did a little piece of sensory with it, because we did sensory to hear all at the same time, right? Let's do our mandibular, I mean, let's do our motor piece of the mandibular branch of trigeminal, which is, what would you guess? What's the mandibular <laughs> chewing? How is that for uh, clear crystal? Now we're going to look at our buddies that have both. These guys have both sensory and motor fibers, and we're going to look, I think there's four of them, including mandibular branch of trigeminal. We're going to look at those guys, and they're a little more complicated, so we've got, I, I'm probably going to pull us over to another sheet of paper. That was really important for you to know, huh?